Today, we're going to offer guidance on how to pressurize a 1,000 pound or 454 kilogram half ton cylinder. This cylinder is among the packages widely used for Honeywell Solstice LBA, Solstice GBA, and Innovate 245 FA. Before working with any liquid under pressure, you must carefully follow instructions provided by the Safety Data Sheet, or SDS, including information provided on the addition of dry nitrogen. Cylinders should be protected from sunlight and should not be exposed to temperatures exceeding 131 degrees Fahrenheit or 55 degrees Celsius. It's essential to wear the proper personal protective equipment, or PPE. This includes, but is not limited to, safety glasses with side shields, solvent-resistant gloves, and appropriate clothing. Dispense product in a well-ventilated area. Avoid contact with eyes, skin, and clothing, and do not breathe mist or vapors. Before the pressurization process can begin, you should inspect all equipment. Ensure that you have all supplies needed, that they are in proper working condition, and meet materials compatibility requirements. First, inspect the blowing agent cylinder. These 1,000 pound cylinders are designed to be used vertically. The maximum recommended service pressure is 260 PSI, or 1800 kPa, and there is no practical need for cylinder pressure to exceed 100 PSI, or 690 kPa. Lift the hinged cap and check that the cylinder has the proper fittings. The cylinder valve used to discharge the liquid blowing agent conforms to the Compressed Gas Association. It is a CGA 660 connection. For the nitrogen supply, the vapor valve connection also conforms to CGA 660. If you don't have the proper fittings or hose assembly, or have questions about the pressurization process, please contact your Honeywell Technical Service representative before proceeding. Next, you'll require a nitrogen tank. It's recommended that dry nitrogen be used to pressurize these cylinders. Do not mix with oxygen or air above atmospheric pressure because it can form a combustible mixture. You will also require a double-stage nitrogen regulator to set and monitor pressure levels. A nitrogen needle valve can be used to shut off the flow. You will also need a gas hose rated for nitrogen use with a CGA 660 connection and an O-ring. Finally, ensure that you have a liquid discharge line with a CGA 660 connection and an O-ring. It will be connected to the blowing agent cylinder to dispense to a process container that is suitable for the blowing agent. The purpose of this pressurization process is to ensure that the blowing agent cylinder has a consistent regulated pressure of 100 PSI during dispensing to ensure consistent flow. Now that all equipment has been checked, it's time to prepare for the actual pressurization process. First, attach the pressure regulator to the nitrogen tank. Secure tightly. Next, be sure that the gas hose is attached to the nitrogen regulator discharge connection. Secure tightly. As mentioned, it's essential that the gas hose is rated for nitrogen use. This completes this stage of the nitrogen tank preparation. Now that the nitrogen tank is ready, the next step is to prepare the blowing agent cylinder to be pressurized and to dispense product into the process container. With the cap removed from the half-ton cylinder, you will see two handles and two ports at the top of the cylinder. Remove the cover from the vapor port, which will be used for nitrogen vapor to enter the blowing agent cylinder. Before connecting the nitrogen gas hose to the blowing agent cylinder vapor port, check that the CGA 660 connection has a required O-ring. If so, Connect and secure tightly. Next, remove the cap from the liquid discharge port on the blowing agent cylinder. Before attaching the liquid discharge line to the port, be sure to check that the CGA 660 connection has a required O-ring. It is also critical to ensure that the line is rated for the desired pressure and the hose material is compatible with the blowing agent. Connect liquid discharge line and secure tightly. This completes this stage of blowing agent cylinder preparation you're now ready to begin the pressurization process. Now that the lines are connected, the process of pressurizing the blowing agent cylinder can begin. First, turn the needle on the top of the nitrogen tank to the open position. Adjust the regulator to dispense the nitrogen vapor at 100 PSI pressure. Now, open the needle valve at the nitrogen regulator. Next, 
open the valve on the nitrogen line near the blowing agent cylinder. Next, open the vapor valve on the blowing agent cylinder to allow the nitrogen vapor to flow into the cylinder and pressurize it. This completes this stage of the pressurization process. With the blowing agent cylinder now pressurized with nitrogen, you're ready for the final stage in the process. First, check that the liquid discharge line is securely placed in an appropriate process container. You can now open the liquid valve of the blowing agent cylinder to dispense the blowing agent into the process container. The blowing agent will be dispensed as a liquid. Carefully monitor the flow of liquid blowing agent into the process container to avoid overfilling and to reduce the potential for spillage. Once you are satisfied that the blowing agent has been adequately dispensed from the cylinder, close the liquid valve on the blowing agent cylinder to stop any further dispensing of blowing agent. Now you can take the following steps to conclude the process. First, close the vapor valve on the blowing agent cylinder. Next, close the valve on the nitrogen gas hose. Now close the needle valve at the nitrogen regulator. Next, close the valve on the top of the nitrogen tank to stop the flow of vapor. Next, slowly and carefully disconnect the nitrogen gas hose from the half-ton cylinder to relieve pressure. Finally, once the nitrogen hose is disconnected, slowly open the valve on the nitrogen gas line and the needle valve at the nitrogen regulator to relieve pressure. When the cylinder is completely empty, you can return it to Honeywell. Check for cylinder return instructions for your region. We recognize that this demonstration does not include all circumstances and pressurization processes may vary. It is intended as guidance only. For additional information, you can reference the conversion manuals for each product. If you have questions about Honeywell blowing agents or this process, please contact your Honeywell representative.